We're rolling out computer science and robotics K through five across the district. And today we're in a third grade classroom where students are using Dash robots from Wonder Workshop. With the robotics, we can build in a lot of measurement and geometry concepts. And today students are reviewing for math concepts for FSA using Dash to make it a little bit more engaging and more fun. I think they're so involved just because they love robots, they love technology, and I decided I want to do FSA practice with them. So I started going through um, my bi-weeklies and looking at the results and kind of thinking about the things that we needed to work on. I put my finger at 100, so let's keep going. So we're probably going to need to put the one at my finger, so let's do that. I told them now at indoor recess they can code. So my kids started indoor recess coding. So they go on code.org at every indoor recess and they start coding and they bring me up all their cool designs that they do. And then they get to Dash and they know how to do it. So they feel so awesome and they'll run up to me in the middle of, I need to show you what Dash did today, I need to show you. So it, I just think they're able to create something, they're able to make a robot do something rather than you know those little remote control cars where you just do that. They have created whatever Dash does. Okay, go. Three, two, one. Okay, forward is Currently, right, right now for this lesson, we are doing rounding. At the end of the lesson, I went on Curriculum Associates and they have all these FSA style questions. So at the end of the lesson, I have an exit ticket and it's always an FSA style question related to the concept. Yes. And if there's not five, we just need to go to the lowest amount. So 320, where is it? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, I think it's just an element of play that's added to it that makes learning fun, that makes it interesting. There's opportunities for them to talk, to problem solve to make mistakes and, and revise their thinking throughout the learning. So it's more of an opportunity for them to have a little bit of freedom within the structure of the math lesson. I think anytime the students are having experiences where their hands are on, where they're having opportunities to talk, um, their brains are taking in information in multiple ways and in, in different areas, and so it's going to improve the learning that's happening. 550, they're fun, and as they're fun, they're also educational and it helps us learn how to code better. We can do per area and perimeter, like some of us have been struggling with that, and it, the dash helps us, and it motivates us to get better. Okay, so now we need to drive, it says, drive dash. I like playing with dash because it's really fun, and, and I also like playing with dash because it's also because of we play with math stuff and I love math. It's fun for math and it, like when you do math it's going to be like you get to control it and you get to have to take turns and it's like taking turns like a team. Okay. It makes us more fun and it doesn't and it makes us program a lot and it will help us for the FSA.